Hello, dear colleagues. The topic of my report is a biosynotic influence of the great cormorant Flacrocorax carba in the Azov Black Sea region of Ukraine. Large colonies of birds play an important role in soil formation, bringing a large amount of organic matter with their waste products, mainly guano. Special onitogenic soils with a high content of phosphorus, nitrogen, potassium and zinc are formed in places where the birds gather. The participation of fish-eating birds in the transport of biogenic substances from aquatic ecosystems to terrestrial ones is indisputable, especially the great cormorant. These birds feed on fish in freshwater bodies and nests are built on trees in the forest. In nascent places, trees die and in the territories of former cormorant settlements, the increased content of nitrogen in litter, soil and plants remains for the long time. Another important type of impact of great cormorant is its relationship with other species of birds, especially the wetland complex birds. Researches of ecological impact of great cormorant were conducted in the Azov Black Sea region of Ukraine in 22 nesting colonies of this species in the period from 2012 to 2021. Most of the expeditional work was carried out using the methods of fixed vehicle, boat and pedestrian uh, census. Cormorants are most destructive to vegetation during the period when they are building their nests. Bird collects uh, nesting material within a radius of, of up to 2 km from the colony. Some birds uh, find the material in the immediate uh, vicinity of the nest, others collect it on the neighboring island. Some steal it from the nest of other cormorants. At the locations of the colonies uh, there is a change in vegetation cover, while in the um, first year, as a result of strong nitrification of the substrate uh, species that prefer nitrogen-rich soil prevail. In the following years, um, even in the absence of birds, the vegetation cover is transformed, including the improvement of the cenotic and floristic structure of the island complexes. The largest arboreal colonies of great cormorants are located on the coast of the Sea of Azov, the Kazantip Peninsula, Obetichna Speed, the Dnipro Reservoirs, Kakhovka, Kremenchu, Kanyiv, Kyiv Reservoirs. Everywhere the negative impact of the nesting of this, this species, both on herbaceous and tree shrub vegetation, is known, now, which is the case of large colonies, acquires a significant scale. Coastal plantings uh, suffer the most from the settlements of the great cormorant um, as they are chosen by the birds for placing their nest in the first place. Tall Salix alba and Populus sp trees with a good view and an um, uncomplicated approach to the nest are chosen uh, as nesting uh, biotopes. Nests, as a rule, um, are arranged in the upper and middle parts of the crown of trees at uh, the base of middle part of branches of the second order. The negative impact of uh, the growth and development of trees is primarily associated with the, um, the impact of bird faces um, with a high uh, concentration of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium on the vegetative organs uh, of plants during the entire nesting period. This leads to the death of leaves and young shoots um, as a result of burns. In the first year of the appearance of nests on trees, the leaves of the upper and partly the middle part of the crown burn. As a result, the skeletal branches uh, these peels off and the tree begins to dry out. The next year, the upper dry parts of the trees are used by the cormorant uh, as a roost, and the nests are moved to the middle part of the crown. But the end uh, of the growing season, uh, the leaves uh, and one year shoots in the middle and lower part of the crown burn. The bark of the perennial shoot spills off and the tree dries up completely. In the future, the trees are used by cormorant as roost and nests are moved to the nearby living trees. In the absence of trees, cormorant begin to use uh, shrubs as nesting biotopes. Much less often, uh, they um, are used uh, for placing nest Aster nigunda, Morus nigra, etc. Amorpha fructuosa and copious form of trees uh, die in the first year after placing nest of them. Sambucus nigra is most stable and, depending on the intensity of the impact, 
uh, can vegetate for several seasons, but in the future it also dies. Water birds uh, such as cormorant is very, very important links of some food chains and a factor that facilitates the dislocation of matter between aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems. From the one perspective, cormorants exclude biogenic elements along with fish from aquatic ecosystems. Also, cormorants uh, hunt in, at the very large distance from colonies. Uh, within a radius of up to 30 kilometers, uh, they leave faces in a relatively small area below the colony. Nesting colonies of fish-eating birds affect the habitats and phytocenosis in different ways. During the breeding season, cormorants transfer a large amount of biomass and chemicals from the aquatic environment to colonies located on land. The consequence of the introduction of lactonous matter into the terrestrial ecosystem can be significant enrichment of soil and plants with nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. In addition, cormorants break branches during nest construction resulting in defoliation of the soil under trees. In areas with high bird density, faces cover herbaceous vegetation, limiting photosynthesis and um, ultimately leading to plant ex extinction. The relationship of the great cormorant with other water birds depends, first of all, on the characteristics of the species that next in, in mixed settlements with the great cormorant, as well as the specifics of the nesting sites, the type of nesting biotope, the lack of suitable nesting areas, etc. The impact can be both direct and indirect and can be both negative and in some cases positive. The analysis of um, available data on the 56 species associated with the great cormorant in 20 mixed settlements allows us to state that, depending on the colony, uh, the composition of the avifauna complex can vary greatly, ranging from 3 to 20 species. On, on the opetitional speed, the growth of great cormorant population affects the species composition and the number of, of other settled birds. Since 1993, the cormorant has gradually displaced uh, such species as Greta alba, Greta garzeta and Ardea cinerea, as well as Sterna hirundo and Sterna albi from, from the nesting sites. In conditions of scarcity of nesting sites on the island, only Larus cachinans can nest together with the great cormorant, with its high number. The intensive increase of the number of cormorants of the speed provides, in addition to Larus cachinans, a number of other species, in particular Pica Pica and Corvus cornix, as a food base. Corvus cornix is also an active predator um, of cormorant eggs and young nestlings. This cooperation between Corvus cornix and Larus cachinans has often been observed. When gulls raid the colony, scaring the cormorants and forcing them to leave their nests, the nests are simultaneously visited by crows, uh, which uh, take out eggs and nestlings. The increase of the number of Corvus cornix on the abutitional speed is directly correlated with the increase of number of cormorant colonies observed in the recent year. We observe a different situation in Sivash. The competition of species for nesting territories determines the conditions of their existence, which we traced on the island of Central and Eastern Siwash from the Great Cormorant and Larus Cachinans as the most massive colonial species. Research, retrospective analysis and our data covers the period from the late 1990s to 2020. One, when the location, number and species composition of colonial bird uh, settlements were char characterized uh, by the method of absolute records. The main uh, perennial uh, nesting sites of this pair uh, of species have been identified. Uh, in central Siwash, this is Kitai um, Island, and in the east, the islands of Chonhar, Koenli, Arabat Speed, Soleprom, and Polyhonna Speed. Great Cormorant is strong uh, territorial competitor and uh, the places occupied by the colonies of this species become uh, inaccessible for nesting of most of traditional for the island colonial Haradriformes species. 
In addition, great cormorant nesting sites attacked uh, many Larus cachinans to the island whose predation usually makes nesting of the same island uh, almost impossible for other species of gulls and terns, with the exception of Larus ichthyaetus and Sterna hirundo. The great cormorant uh, has a definite positive uh, effect on Pelicanus anacratalus uh, for this uh, species, uh, cormorant's colonies, as a marker of the security of the nesting territory, and it turns to be an important factor um, in the restoration and further preservation of nesting settlements of uh, Pelicanus anacratalus in the Black Sea Biosphere Reserve. Another species with, uh, on which the great cormorant uh, has a positive effect on the islands um, of Tendra and Yahorlik uh, Bays is Larus cachinans. At the first stages of the formation of nesting settlements, the great cormorant displaces the gulls from their traditional nesting biotopes in the lower part of the island, where the rest of significant death of its nestlings due to the rushes uh, was noted. Colonies of great cormorants are um, a very rich source of food for gulls, which they obtain the both by kleptoparasitism, passive and active, and by preda uh, predation on, on eggs and nestlings. An analysis of both published and original information concerning the great cormorant in the region allows us to draw the following conclusions. The activity of cormorants affects various components of the natural complexes of the Azov Black Sea region of Ukraine. Since the great cormorant is an obligate ichthyophag, it exerts a certain influence on the fish producity of the coastal zones of the Azov and Black Seas. Fish resources experience a heavy load from the, the species, especially during the feeding of nestlings. Its impact uh, on herbozo's uh, vegetation is uh, manifested both in a ch uh, change in species uh, composition of phytocenosis and uh, the subsequent um, disappearance of vegetation in certain areas. Three vege vegetation is also negatively affected, the mechanical damage of the trees by birds when collecting branches for nests, the destruction under the weight of nests, uh, drying of trees uh, due to the effect of large doses of nitrogen and phosphorus uh, compounds from birds' excrements, and in the case of a large area and number of cormorant colonies, the drying of trees occurs in uh, very um, large areas, uh, which can reach tens of hectares, which undoubtedly causes damage to the forestry. The high number of cormorants leads to a reduction in the number of some other species of birds, improvement of nesting bird complexes, herons, terns, in the conditions of a shortage um, of nesting sites on the islands, only Larus cachinans can nest together with the great, great cormorant with its uh, high number.